Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question. How would you find currently running queries on SQL Server instance? Well, there are multiple ways to find this out. Uh, you can use um, SQL Server Activity Monitor and look at the processes. You can use SP underscore who or SP underscore who to. Let me write it down. SP underscore who, SP, SP underscore who to. Uh, this will this way you can look at um, uh, the processes that's running and you can uh, also use activity monitor and look at the processes uh, in active activity monitor you can also actually look at the top uh, 10 expensive queries so um, that's one way to find out SQL server uh, SQL server profiler is another option so this is how you can find uh, the currently running uh, queries on SQL Server. Now, in using SP underscore who to and SP underscore who, uh, it'll give you the uh, SPID of that particular uh, of all the processes. If you wanted to know the exact query that what um, that um, a particular uh, SPID is doing, you use dbcc command dbcc input buffer and you put spit number or SPID of that particular process and you can you, sh you should be able to look at that and let me show you real quick the SP who to and activity monitor where you look currently running queries on SQL server so here's uh, my server here's my management studio you can right click and fire up activity monitor and look at the processes all the processes are running right here so if you wanted to look at recent expensive queries you can look at from that side um, and uh, if you go ahead and click on a, s a new query sp underscore who to and execute that query you will see all the processes uh, currently running on sql server from that perspective and uh, all the processes has a uh, spid id up here so let me uh, let me see that if uh, um, if I wanted to find out that what uh, SPID the the process 85 whose uh, SPID is 85 what is it doing? So I'm going to do dbcc input buffer and put 85 in there and run that particular command and it'll give you right here in event info that what exactly it's doing so this is how you find out currently running queries on sql server instance on any sql server instance i hope this answers the question